If you don't know where your food comes from, then you're probably not gonna make great choices about the foods that you put in your body. So I think they're just parallels in terms of basic knowledge so that you can make better life choices as you go forward. One of the things that we've always said in the school system is that we've got to create curriculums and schools that kids run into like they run out from. We have an expression here at Garinger that we want our students and staff to feel welcome and expected, so the changes in the cafeteria fed into our goal here for the school. What I'm most excited about here at Garinger is the food engineering program that we're creating. Uh, I believe that it's the pipeline that connects uh, the academics, the food experiences, and future careers. Two of the programs that have been, I guess, more closely linked to this food service part um, have been the culinary program and the horticulture program. Every element that we're doing here at Garinger, we've shrunk down at the middle school level. When it comes to Garinger, it just gets that more intense because that little aquaponics system at the middle school is now a full-on greenhouse with four or five hundred gallon fish tanks and it's got a thousand fish in it and we're producing 200 heads of lettuce a week that can then either go into the cafeteria program, the culinary program. And students are excited about the opportunities to get into those classrooms. There's a new classroom space so that's always an exciting time for students and staff when there's an addition. The marketing kids are able to come in and film it and use it in their marketing class. The science kids are coming over to manage the system and understanding how the pH balances affect the fish. We're going to be building a 3,000 gallon aquaponics system in this greenhouse that grows tilapia and leafy greens and it's going to produce about 330 servings of leafy green vegetables a week and then about 200 pounds of fish will be ready to harvest at the end of the year. Food is a magnet, if you will, that kids are kind of rallying around, but not just the production of the food, the marketing of the food, the sales of the food, and then quite honestly, the consumption of the food. All of these different curriculums tie together in one unique system, and ultimately, we'll be able to get the lettuce coming out of that system and serve it in salads that we do it in the cafeteria, which will then complete the cycle of a farm to table program where the students started the lettuce from seed, grew it in class, nurtured it, got it all the way to harvest, walked it down the hall to the cafeteria, gave it to the kitchen staff. Now their friends are now eating it for lunch. The express line has been a hit for students. Them being able to go through the express line, having the app that kind of modernizes the school lunch experience. It's kind of like a quick, like a quick order, so I don't have to wait for in that line. All I hear people talk about is like the mobile express and how good it is, and it's like it's like really good. So the students can download the app, go on to the lunch uh, lunch for that day, go to the salad bar option for that day pick whatever toppings they want. The order goes to the kitchen. We make that salad, the same salad they would have made standing in that long line, is now ready for them when they come up to the window. And so 130 to 160 students are now no longer waiting in line over here. That opens up an additional line to where we can now feed additional students that would have been sitting at a table, didn't want to get in line because the lines are too long. Well, I'm usually busy all the time, so I rarely get a chance to eat lunch, but I feel like that app will provide me like a faster and more efficient way to get my lunch and eat better. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think what we see is kids that are more engaged. I think we see kids that are perhaps happier. We see kids that are doing better academically. I think also that food is like love, right? So how do we show our kids that we care about them? We show them that we care about the space that they're having lunch in. We show them that we care about the healthy choices that we're offering for them and the level of preparation that we're taking as a school and as a district to make sure that they have those choices shows them that we, do, we truly care about them. I think that young people, when they have a great experience around food, feel better about themselves, feel that the organization cares more about them, but most importantly, for many of our kids, 
a great food experience implies that they're getting kind of the nutrition that they need to kind of fuel their body, fuel their brain throughout the day. It's not just about the experience of eating the food, but it's also bigger than that. It's about the experience of where it comes from and how it actually gets to the plate. So having the students understanding the origins of the food that they're eating and, then, and how that comes to be providing nourishment to them is extremely important to me.